Hello, my friends. <laughs> Welcome back to Petra's Cauldron. I'm Petra. Um, so, remember the other day, or actually last week, you know, we made this awesome, awesome dipping sauce, what the Italians, they like to use with their olive oil and their fresh herbs and spices and the garlics in it. Now, here's another tip what you could do with that, just in case you're running out of ideas. Today, Greg said to me, I really would like to have some chicken souffle. And I said, hmm, that's a nice idea. We can actually make chicken souffle on the grill. So and I'll show you what you need for that and how you can use that particular oil, okay? So let's go and get started. Now, what you need is chicken. So I used um, three chicken breast fillets and I cut them down into particular sizes and I'll show you that in a while because I have nothing on my hands and I will not touch it like so. So you need salt, you need olive oil, you need garlic powder or fresh, you need some pepper, some thyme is great and oregano, very important, but mostly it's lemon juice. Now if you have a fresh lemon, use that instead. I don't have any, so I'm going to use that. But last week we made this here. Remember that? I added also some chili um, tape, the red things, you can see that. Actually, it's Thai chili. So, and so I added that to that. So in here is rosemary, oregano, thyme, and basil, and olive oil, pepper, and salt. But um, I added, like I said, the chili peppers to it. So now you can use this and marinate it all in here, and all you need is these two babies in order to make chicken souffle. If you don't have that oil, you have to go back and you need all this. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how it's been done. I don't like to touch my chicken with bare hands. I don't know what it is, but I just don't like it. Matter of fact, I don't like to touch my, my meat at all with bare hands. So I always like to use this here, you know? So because I got the big dogs and sometimes they come around and I forget about it and I pet them, I said, ah, I don't like it. So anyway, so this is how you want to cut them, you know? So you take the chicken breast filet, the whole thing, you slice it. Okay, this is the chicken breast filet. You slice it like so. And then each half, you make like one quarter inch, you know, one inch by one inch. That, so you have that kind of size. Because later on, you will have these, you know, the skewers, and you will be putting it onto the skewers. So that is what you need. Now, and then you need a bag. And I like to use those stretchy bags because it's easier for you to massage it in. Now, what you're doing is this here. You take that oil and um, you put this on it, like so. That's basically all you need to do. If you have made this oil like we did last week. If you don't have that, then you take about a, a quarter cup of olive oil. You put that in here and each of the uh, spices what I just showed you, you take a half teaspoon to a teaspoon. Um, I would use a teaspoon. So now you mix it all the way up like so. And I have not touched my meat with my hand. So I'm going to open up my lamb juice, lemon juice. Ugh, this is going to be tough here. Oh, yeah, yeah. But this is, that's a nice Greek dish. And you can serve it with um, rice. You can have it with um, um, some flat breads, and I'll show you that later on. So and you will be adding about two to three tablespoons. That's all you need to do. You mix it some more, and then you will be marinating it into your refrigerator for about at least two hours. The longer, the longer you marinate it, the better it goes all the way into your beautiful chicken, and it tastes much, much, much better when it comes off the grill. So then... You take these and you put it in here, into your bag. So if you have now some parsley, you can add it to it if you want to, or cilantro, but it's no need for. I have had the, um, the green onions, remember? The spring onions. So I'm going to add this all in here. So now I'm going to take this off because I don't need this anymore. So you close it off. Like so, you press some of the air out, not all of it, but yeah, you can do it like so, like so, perfect. And now, 
you can just massage it like so. So then you pound it a little flat and that's how it goes into your refrigerator, my ladies and gentlemen. And then for about at least, I would say two hours, the longer, the better it goes, you know, so it's gonna be very tasty. And after that has been done, I will be coming back and I'll show you how they're gonna be screwed on on these skewers and then they're gonna grill till they're nice golden brown. And I'll show you what else we will be serving with this, okay? Now this is what we need in order to make our beautiful pita, our um, souflaki. So first of all, you need those pockets. So this is, I'm using here pita bread and I roast them into my pan later on, you will see it, you know, and I cut it in half because there's a pocket in it and I can use it and fill it with my salads. And they come in different sizes. I have a small size here, that would be mine. One half is enough for me. And then you get the bigger sizes. So it's up to you how much you want to eat and how hungry you are, you know. So then you need regular salad. Some people, they use iceberg salad. I use romaine salad and I shop it in smaller pieces like so. Then um, you need some tomatoes and I shop them like so. You can see that. So you don't have to be very thorough, but you know, in smaller pieces is nice. Then you have white cabbage and you shop them as fine as you can. And I did it by hand and um, all this took me about 10 minutes. So, and then you have red cabbage, you got some onions, you make them also a little smaller and then you also have your beautiful European cucumbers. You will need some parsley or cilantro, whatever you have on hand you can use. And Greg made the other day beautiful um, tzatziki already up front. So, and when all this is being done, then you can top it off with some sumac if you like, because it tastes a little sour, a little vinegary or lemony or whatever you want to call it. It tastes very good if you sprinkle it on it. And um, I see you in a bit, and these are our, our skewers, and I see you in a little bit when it goes, um, uh, when our chicken comes out, and I'm going to start screwing them up, put them on the grill. Now, now souflaki is a Greek dish. Now, German people eat Greek, they eat Yugoslavian, they eat, they eat Turk and Italian. Very important. It's not only German food what we eat, but we love our variety. <laughs> we like to eat different type of things, always something spice it up. So if you eat this, it's very similar to a doner kebab. Now, the only difference in here is, is the type of meat. Well, and how we make it. Doner kebab is also made from chicken, from beef or from lamb never with pork but if you use now the chicken cubes what i used and you cut them up in half again and then you put them in on top of your uh, salads then you have something like a fake doner kebab try it something very delicious also well with the doner kebab you have different type of um, herbs and spices in it not really sour but um, yeah you know, you can fake it. <laughs> so I see you in about four hours, all right? See you later, bye. Okay, welcome back, four hours are up. So Greg is up and then he's getting ready and I'm getting ready to skew up our um, um, souflakis, okay? Now I'm gonna show you how that works. So like I said, I will be putting back on my gloss. Here's my meat. And I have a tray like this and this is perfect. So I just put this up like so and I'm um, going to take out some of my meat. So simple, so easy people. Oh my god, this is, oh, this is lecker. So when you take it and you screw them up, they are soft now, it's easy to screw and you can put on as much as, as you want to, okay? So I usually put about six or so on it six like so and I'm not going to go all the way to the end because this is where the grill is ending so it's it's resting on it okay so like so and here again so this is what it looks like right so and after this has been done we're going to make a small little um, um, tincture and it's made from honey olive oil and some lemon juice and, and when my skewers are ready set to go for my grill shortly before they are done i will take them and i will sprinkle it over 
So you see here. Okay, there's one more on it. See, that is so simple. That, that's how. That's all it is. You sweat them out just a little bit, and that's it. See here, no big deal. Very, very simple. So let me finish this, and I'll be back in a moment. So Greg is firing up now the grill, and this is what it looks like. See, they're nicely um, skewed. So what I will be doing is now I can put some extra pepper on it because we like it a little more spicy. You don't have to. You can also put a little chili pepper on it if you want to, which I prefer too. And um, yeah, and um, while Greg is going to put those babies on the grill, I will be showing you how to make the glazur. It's called the glazur. What has it been called in English, glazur, Shatsi? Glaze. A glaze. <laughs> glaze. So he's go I'm going to show you how to make the glaze, okay? So this is what I was using, you know, little chili, chili flakes, put them on it. That's it. Not a big deal. So now we're going to make a little glazur. So I have some raw honey and you add that to a little jar. About so much. This is going to be so delicious, my friend. So, so, so delicious. Then you will be adding just a tiny touch of olive oil, maybe a teaspoonful and um, then you will be adding some of the lime juice or lemon about a teaspoon and then you mix it you see here so and um, later on when the skewers are on the grill then you can go out and you take a little brush and then you're gonna brush them and I'll show you how that works too very simple very easy so Greg is outside and he's doing his work on that part. See here? Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Let me taste it. Ha oh, ha, yummy! Now let's go back to our pita breads here. So this is what they look like. And this is um, a dessert teller, which is like a, um, a cake plate full yeah that's it's a little bit thicker than this one is and you see here the difference see one is thicker this one here is much much thinner this is nice we're going to put this on the grill too and when it comes out we're going to smear some of the glaze on it and then you have all your your beautiful um salad in here and then you put in your skewer meat and then you just fold it over or you can roll it up like so and then you can eat it like a like a wrap so it's all on your preference. So this is how this is what it is. So let's go and check on the skewer outside. Guess what, my friends? It's raining, but that will not hold us back. That we are not gonna grill. It's on it here. So see here, and it's smoking <laughs> because the rain is coming on it. But that's okay. That's all right. See, our skewers are hanging out, and um, let's see what they look like. Here they are. So we are not going to leave it open as long because the rain is going to kill the flame and that's not happening. <laughs> it's raining. I don't care. <laughs> we want the souffle we want them off the grill and I don't care if it's raining or not. <laughs> we're going to do it anyway. And it proves the point, you know, it doesn't matter what weather condition you're in. Even if you have snow, you can still grill. <laughs> So remember that we made this beautiful plate with our vegetables. Now I'm going to show you a shortcut. Instead of doing everything separately on it, we are going to put it into a bowl. So we're going to dump it in here. That way we have a nice mix. And it's so much easier to put it in. And whatever you don't eat, you have a nice mixed salad right away. So you don't have a whole lot of work to do anymore next time. You want to eat a nice little fresh salad. See here? Now mix it up like so. Now this is gorgeous. Check this out. Less work. See here? Less, less work. So much easier to make. And then the next step is going to be done in about five minutes. The skewers, they need about seven more minutes, I think. Yeah, seven more minutes. We will sit down and have you want to have it rolled up or you want to have it like a pita bread, like so? Yeah, like that. Like so, yeah. okay. You want your tzatziki in here? Yeah, of course. Okay, you spread, <laughs> you spread your tzatziki in the middle. 
and you can spread it out to both walls like so right yeah then you will be putting in your vegetables no I'll put the meat first you want to feed the meat first yeah I always put the meat first okay I will I put do. it on top of it but that's okay that's how, how you play that's right. okay check you this do, out you do whatever you want to do see here this is what they look like uh -huh. perfect absolutely perfect and what we have done is we have used our mixture like so and then we sprinkle it on top of it like so on the grill but since it's raining outside my ass is not outside no. so okay if you want to have it like so my ass was yeah <laughs> see here <laughs> and you hold it and you pull it out yeah. now you want it on top of it yep so you don't see it your beautifulness anymore it's all right okay. i need to see it <laughs> yeah perfect then you sprinkle some of the green stuff on it and this is how Greg looks like see yeah and now he can fold it together like so and he yeah. can eat it there we go so now mine is a little different i'm going to put this over here here you take that over to that side and um, i cut mine yeah so you're going to do the the pocket thing i'm going to do the pocket okay. thing yeah so here's the pocket right. see that's how the pocket works yeah. so you sprinkle in from one side sprinkle your, it in your tzatziki yeah and um, from the other side i have this eggplant spread I, I, love, oh, I love that stuff and i spread that on the other side it's all mediterranean you know so it's all good for you so, and when that has been done you add in your your lettuce and your salad like so then you stuff it in more and then you take your skewer yeah, it's a little different. And then you push it in, like so. Hot, hot, hot. That's okay. <laughs> yeah. Somehow. Somehow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Try my best. So. so, that is how you do it. And then I will be adding also some green stuff on top of it. So, people, this is mine. And I know I cannot talk anymore because this is so delicious. It smells so delicious. And I will just want to bite in. Can I bite in? <laughs> no, that is delicious. That is so delicious. But I also like to add some of my sumac. I really like the taste of sumac. Like so. All right. Put that back in here. Okay. <laughs> I know I shouldn't be talking with a full no, mouth, but should. I don't care. And okay, it's too delicious. Like, subscribe, share my video and make it and leave down a comment in the comment sections how you liked it. This is my souffle. So, and this is also how they eat the Döner Kebab in Germany. The meat is just prepared a little different. That's all it is. All right. So, my friends, see you later, alligator. I gotta eat now. Tschüss. <laughs>